Let me, let me uh, also talk to what's not included. Uh, we know with certainty that this community is not receiving the federal funds that it would, do, that it would receive as a city. Uh, and none of those projected new revenues of municipal funding that we would get from a state or federal government are included in this model. Uh, just with ARPA, which is a current federal funding uh, COVID stimulus, uh, this community should be getting up to $30 million uh, of federal aid. Uh, we're currently getting zero. Uh, with CARES Act, uh, it was you know, uh, 6.1 million for Montgomery County, 774,000 for Harris County. We got the 774,000 from Harris County, we got 244,000 from Montgomery County out of 6.1 million. On ARPA, we're at zero. Uh, we're currently working with the Treasury and, and, and the state, but they have uh, told us we don't exist. We like to be called a Woodlands Township, but we are actually a special purpose district that it is not a CDBG eligible community, which means we are left out of a lot of funding mechanisms that exist that come out of all these federal programs. Uh, we did not include any increased funding that we would achieve from Houston Galveston Area Council, uh, which is the local cog that redistributes state and federal dollars for numerous projects, uh, roadways, floodways, parks and recreation, as a municipality, we would immediately become a voting member of that board. Uh, today, we are not a voting member. Uh, so, uh, you know, yes, there's going to be some uh, tax rate certainty for seniors, which we know uh, expressed the largest amount of concern about taxes. Um, but there, there is other revenue sources that we didn't bake into this that are real uh, and are substantial uh, and could further help mitigate over a longer period of time. And so to the, the people asking about why are we looking at this in this interim time period, the ARPA Act funds uh, are funded in two tranches. Uh, the first funding went out in August. The second funding goes out next year. Uh, their treasury guidelines only provided the direct funding to incorporated entities, uh, which left us in, in no man's land. Uh, if we are incorporated in, in this calendar year, uh, we could get the funding in round two, uh, which goes out, I believe, next year. No guarantees, but right now, when we talk to them, we're not a minor civil division of government because Texas doesn't acknowledge those exist in Texas. In other states, townships and towns did get direct funding under ARPA that provide less government services than this community currently provides. Let me just speak to how ridiculous this situation is in the middle of COVID. We fund $14 million of law enforcement. We got zero dollars back and all that money that went out. Trillions. We have our own fire department. Property protection class one, ISO one. Number one in the country. We got nothing. We got, well, we got some from CARES Act out of Harris County. And we got a couple hundred thousand out of Montgomery County. Eight fire stations, paramedics, four on the ladder truck, and we're being treated like we don't exist. So we either want to stand up and be counted. There's 120,000 of us worth a collective over $22 billion that are not getting the untold amount of federal taxes that this community pays back to this local community. And we can argue about the timing, and we can argue about the benefits and the pros and the cons, but we have been certainly told, this first pandemic in my lifetime, and probably everybody in this room, anybody here from 1918? <laughs> Might be a few. Reality is, they just told us we don't exist. They don't acknowledge the Woodlands as a place. Uh, we, we, we are on some maps, but I suspect most of you show up as Spring, Conroe, Magnolia, or, or something else identified by the post office, Conroe. Uh, and, you know, when, when you're looking at federal aid distribution, I, what's that? Tom Ball. Tom okay. Ball. We've been going to the state. We've been going to the county. We've been going to the federal government. We've been doing this for over a year. I know someone said I was talking to the wrong person on why the state wouldn't just, you know, wave their finger and give us more benefits. We've been talking to everybody. And, you know, we have within our own control, 
as a community to make a decision for ourselves. Do we want to be counted? Do we want to be a direct recipient without having to beg for it? Do we want our fire department to be as respected as the fire departments of every other community in our state who are getting direct funded? Think about this. The city of Shenandoah, and we love them, they're getting ARPA funds. They have a population of less than 5,000. We are their fire department. We're under a contract with them. And like I said, we're funding $14 million in law enforcement. So people were talking about what's going to happen to this community and the level of service. All eight fire stations, currently township employees, currently operated by this group. Parks and Recreation, currently uh, operated by the township. All the 220 miles of parks and pathways. Uh, Gold-rated amenities, the niche number one rated community came from this collective board and previous boards and mostly our staff. Let's be clear. The people who make this place great and operate the township are the professional executive team that run this community and the over 400 employees that we have, and they are capable of taking this community forward uh, in a way that's responsible and not overly burdensome to our residents. And everybody can come down on that decision differently. And I've said it numerous times. I think it's in our best interest. I only get one vote. If the rest of the community doesn't think it's in their best interest, so be it. But what this board has been doing for the last five years is planning, reserving, working towards a position to give our community an opportunity to transition that, that not a tremendous burden uh, to their family. And to put us in a position to be counted, respected, and treated the same as everybody who is surrounding us. And today we are not. 